Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this uh, new video. In this video, we are going to talk about Planner 5D. Planner 5D, what is this? It is a software, an online tool that you can use to create interior design, but you can also extend on outdoor design. It is very interesting because it is a, a, a system with drag and drop furnitures and everything is made to have ergonomic tools. I'm going to introduce this tool in this video if you like my video subscribe to this youtube channel you can also let likes on the videos if you are interested by more the complete course training course on planner 5d is available on the first link on the description so if you want to perfectly master this online tool you want to create your interior home design or you want to create uh, a room design anything like this you want also to extend to the garden First link on the description, the complete course is available. You will see the models and the session of the course. So let's start with a uh, planner 5D. Uh, first things to do, it's um, just to see the different options. So here, this is the website planner5d.com and you can create home and something very interesting. You have a system with layout and design. So it means you use a 2D view mode to create, for example, floor and plane, and then you can switch easily to 3D to explore. This is definitely a great tool. So this is not the only tool you can find tool like, for example, Sweet, Sweet Home uh, 3D. It is a very interesting tool uh, also. In the same style, you have also floor planner. All these different tools are extremely useful. It's little same, and you have just few differences. After to create this base, you can furnish and edit. So you can add for denature, edit colors and more, and then you can visualize and also share, but it's extremely useful. You can export in a real render. Create anywhere, anytime, because it is online tools. Uh, you have also an item catalog. The only difference, because here you don't have the price, they don't give the, the price at the beginning. You just need to understand you have a free version and a pay version. The free version allows you to have access to all the different features, but you will have limited item catalog. So if you just use the free version, you will have each time in a category only the three, four, five, six first element, and that's all. So definitely it's very limited about the item catalog if you use the free version. And if you use the paid version, you will have access to all the catalog. 5,000 plus item catalog. You will have also little credit at the beginning to export in HD. And after, if you want to export in HD, you will have to buy credit also. But the price is around, uh, if you pay for one year, one year it's around six, $60 uh, for one year, $60. And if you are not sure to take this for one year, you can just take months after months, you can just take one month, try and it will be around $20. And if you want to extend another month, you can pay again $20. And if it's for a complete year, it is $60. So after to do this work, you can just sign up. Me, I'm going to log in to my account. You, you can sign up and start a design. So after you will enter to your dashboard. So you will have this type of dashboard. Here on the left, you can find all your projects. Here I clean my different project. You can see your different renders when you click on this area. So it means each time when you export different renders, you can find this here. And after at your convenience, you can download the image. You can also make HD if you buy credit. You can find a summary of a texture on this area. And here you just archive, archive it's different elements that you can uh, remove, that you can remove. So if I just come back to all my projects, uh, if you want to create, you need to click on new project directly here. And after you have different options. So it means you can start from scratch with absolutely nothing. You can use a smart wizard. I will explain after in another video what is a smart wizard. You can also use a plane and you can also use one of these templates that the online tool can propose. Um, if we start from scratch, so most of the time, you will enter to this interface. 
How works this interface? Concretely, you can come back to the main dashboard if you click on Planner 5D here, or you can come back to your project if you click on Project. You have Undo and Redo History Panels. Here you can switch 2D view, 3D view. You have different parameters on the right. You can edit different parameters. And here on the left, this is all the different tools to create a design. If you want to draw something, add furnitures, you will have all this type of possibility. And on this area, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can recenter your view. With the left click, you can move like this. And when you are in the 3D view, it is little different. So by default, you have a room. This room, if I click on this, I can remove. And after you have different options. First option, you will be able, for example, to create walls. So it means you click here and you will have the possibility to create walls. You can create a base and you can close and just create an element like this. But it's not only uh, this one. You can also start from directly a room. I'm going to show you. I can come back and just click on one of model of room, like for example, this one. And after you will be able to make some adjustment at your convenience, you can pull the different walls. And I will explain in details after how you can create uh, walls. So after you create, for example, one room, you can addition different room. You will have different options. And for example, if you click here, you want to add, um, you just want to add a door, you can go on door. You have room door, entry door. Let's select room door. And I can select the first, the basic, and apply, for example, a room in this area. And after I have different options, if I want to change the uh, entrance, entrance door. If I want to add window, I will go on this area. And I can select, for example, window. I have different options one more time. And I can go left click and pull the window on this area. And after it's same, you can add furniture. So you have a, a library of furniture. Here I have the paid version. So this is why I have access to all the furnitures. If I just want a bed, I can click furniture, bed, full, queen, and king beds. I have these different options. If you just have the free version, you will have only maybe three, four, third choice. If you have the paid version, you can use everything. So here I have the paid version and I can drag and move a bed. Like, uh, for example, it can be this one and drag and move this one around this area. So a lot of things are like this, drag and move. You have also more options. You have a lot of furniture that you can use separate in different categories. If I wanted something like a storage, it can be a dresser. Take a glance, you have these different options. And this is same, you can just drag and move your element. And after you can edit your element. Something interesting with this type of software is directly to switch 2D to 3D view. So I can go on the 3D view and directly I can have a first view with, take a glance, my door, my uh, window. Each time you can select an element and if you need to drag and move, you can drag and move. Same if I want to move my uh, element here, it's possible. You can work on different levels and you will be able to edit the materials. Um, so definitely it is a very interesting tool, very great tools. After you will have the options to export in different type of render. So you have realistic render here. You select, for example, a view and you have, the, you will have the possibility to export in a regular screenshot. So here it will be included in the version render. <laughs> It will be with credit. You will have to buy credit to have high quality. It is like real rendering. It's very powerful. And you have draft render. It's just something very basic. I can advise you to use regular screenshot. And when you need after, you can have buy credit to have a perfect real rendering. Possibility also to, to work with a different floor. So here this is the first floor. If I want to add a new floor, it will be possible with these uh, options. So it is a very interesting tools. And uh, you can also extend on the garden because if you go here, you can find different elements of exterior. You can create different paths and laws. It works like rectangle and you can 
uh, move different uh, corner print. You can add trees and you have also more uh, element also if you want to extend to uh, outside. At any moment, you can come back to your project, my project, and the project will appear directly here. So we are going to stop here. It was just a small introduction about Planner 5D. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. First link on the description, the complete course. Here is just a view about the potential of what you can do with this online tool and just to um, see few uh, elements. But if you are interested in buying more, it will be on the first link on the description. And in this first link, complete course, course structure, and you will have the models and the session. And for our next video on these uh, channels, I can tell you, see you, ciao, ciao.